Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sunnet Television. We're going to take a look at a brand new product we have here available on Sirenet. It's in the Sea Light section on the website and it's a product from GoLight. It's their model 79004, that's 79004. It's on the counter. Let's jump behind it, check it out. Well, here's the light, the 79004. It's a remote control go light. It's designed to go on the exterior part of a vehicle, i.e. on the roof. Of course, you could also mount it on a work truck area up in the work bed or compartment area at the back of the vehicle. That's something you could go ahead and do with that respect. It comes with a controller. This is a remote control device, so it allows you to operate it wirelessly. In other words, there's no wire coming from the controller going to the light itself, so you can move around the vehicle. And it's uh, quite a nice thing to play with, so we'll point it up and get it to turn around. As you can see, it'll do a 360-degree spin. If I push the button this way, it goes back. You also have two different settings available on the actual remote control. You have a tortoise and a hare. I'm assuming one assumes one goes faster than the other, but you know how the story goes. But anyway, you've got a tortoise and a hare that shows the ability to speed it up or to slow it down. This button on this side here turns it on, and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. It's very, very intense. I'm not going to try and point it at the main camera, so I'll just totally turn it slightly off, off kilter there, and I'll drop it down so you can actually see the light itself as it moves around. Right. Now, of course, all the tech specs are available on the website, but it has got some interesting exclusive features. In this area here, we have a GXL LED technology. This is something that GoLight has developed themselves. I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can see it a bit better and drop this down here. And you can see here there is a diode mounted inside this assembly which in turn has a reflector placed over the top of it to give it a very nice intense output. You're looking at about 50,000 hours of life expectancy. It's in a shockproof, well-built housing, which is quite nice. Of course, again, it's instant on from that aspect. The unit itself uh, basically will tilt up to 135 degree tilt. And as I said earlier, it has a 370 degree rotation. Um, again, something that's definitely usable in a vehicle or externally, of course, is what it's set up to. The candela output is at 200,000 peak intensity and it draws 3 amps, so actually that's not too bad as well. And again, uh, something definitely worth having a look at. Voltage range is from 9 to 32 volts. Comes with a full factory 3-year warranty. Now when you're mounting this, a part of the mounting kit, it'll come with a sleeve and the unit itself. And the sleeve itself is designed to allow you to take the light and to mount it into the sleeve. We're going to push it in here. Hear that little positive click here. And basically, it's now in position, mounted in the storage sleeve. When you want to take it out of the sleeve, you depress this button at the back here and basically pull it forward, just like this. And that allows you to take it out of storage. Now, on the base here, I can see here on the camera, if I turn at this angle, you might be able to get a good angle of it. You've got the ability to create a suction. I'm turning this inwards. I think you can kind of see the vacuum. Get the right angle there. There we are you can actually see the suction unit going in and out. It's like a diaphragm here. It's kind of pulling itself in as I twist this knob at the top. And that allows you to suction mount this onto the surface area that you want to mount this particular light. Of course, again, it also has a handle as well. And tie that in with the controller, and you definitely have something worth having a look at. Well, there you have it, a great product from the gang over at GoLight, the model 79004. It's definitely something worth checking out. Again, it's in the Scene Night section on SirenNet. And again, many thanks for watching. I'm Stuart.